hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing brown roots on this beautiful blonde hair i know you guys see the details on this wig it is looking amazing i really slayed this hair i honestly did like look at it like tell me that that does not look already like pre-made pre-bought like i did that like i did that so if you guys want to see how i created this look please go ahead and continue watching this video also guys don't forget to like share and leave a comment down below yeah and tell me what you guys think Okay guys, so to get started, we are using box dye. Yes, box dye. So I'm using Revlon and it's in light golden brown, shade 54. I did use the entire box in here, so I am just adding the color and the developer into a mixing bowl. So once I get that mixed together, then we are going to go ahead and apply it to the hair. Nadula hair. I originally bought it was not this hair. I originally bought like a 12 inch. This is a 14 inch um, 613 wig. I actually they didn't have the one that I originally bought and they sent me this one and it's 14 inch. So yeah, I really like it. It's a really good lace overall and really nice hair. So as you can see, I am going in with a small tube brush to apply the hair. So there's a method to my madness, okay? Okay, so you guys, I'm using a tube brush so that I have a better, a better um, handle of the product, if that's the word, you know? Like so that I can, I don't over um dye the hair because i don't want to add too much or add it um too much product onto the hair itself so we're using a toothbrush so that we can be a little bit more precise on where we're adding the, the brown color like I oh so yeah I'm using a rat tail comb as well with the brush so I just add, use the, the tube brush to apply the product and then I use the rat rat tail comb to like comb it out a little bit so that it is getting into every strand strand of hair like every hair is getting bleach or not bleach sorry it's getting dyed <laughs> so you guys do not have to do the entire wig like this like you do not have to you can just use to do the lace but i wanted to go in and do the entire hair just so that it has more definition in the hair and like and it looks good overall if like i should put my hand through it you'll see the color so that is the reason why i did the entire wig and it took about it took about an hour to do or less probably less than an hour honestly probably like mm, 40 minutes to do the entire hair because i was going slow like it looks like i'm going fast because i speed it up but i was going really slow and i was taking my time putting the product on so that i don't get 
die the errors that is not supposed to get okay even though i did make a few mistakes here and there but yeah i did take my time I let the product sit on the hair for about 10-15 minutes before I rinse it out. Um, after that, then I went ahead and I used Ion Shampoo and then Shimmer Lights for Conditioner. And I used those two products for especially toning the blonde hair so it doesn't look too yellow. Like, it looks so well done. Like, the box dye really did its work. Like, you can't even tell me that that, that was my, like, if someone asked me, like, where'd you buy that wig? I would think they actually bought that wig looking like that. Like, box dye? Like, what? the hair um, I used a detangler brush and I also added some heat protectant I did not show the heat protectant but I did add some heat protectant and also I used the chi silk infusion and that's just to help with flat iron so flat iron the hair so it's like super straight
telling you like this stuff like i'm almost out like well i'm pretty much out of it it's like literally drips drops coming from that bottle but this stuff mm, chef's kiss like it definitely reduces all the frizziness from the hair and just the dryness and stuff like that so it makes it look so good so you'll, you're gonna see like once i'm done with adding my curls this hair it's gonna look amazing so yeah y'all go y'all go ahead continue watching the best at showing how to cut the hair into layers i can definitely look up some videos and also put it down in the description for you but basically what i'm doing is just cutting some layers into the front section of the hair because i'm doing a center part and i want the hair to have some layers in it so i'm just going ahead and cutting the hair at an angle so that it doesn't look choppy it just looks like it's layers so yeah i'll definitely insert or i'll add a good um layer cutting video in the description for you guys so go ahead and check that out so you guys can see get a better detail look at how to cut your layers so this is the final step and we're almost done with this wig we're just styling it so i am adding some curls i wanted to put in some nice big curls and also um with the big curls give it some body so i did get these curlers from walmart um however i did not have enough big curlers so i used a combination of both big and small ones like all of them so it's gonna be some big girls and small girls in there but it's fine it did what it needed to do so yeah um so this is basically the end of it um i do hope you guys enjoyed this video and you actually learned something from it um go ahead and try to put in dark roots on your blonde wig um yeah let me know how did that turn out tell me what you think about this video like let me know if it was very informative or you want to see more videos like this because i definitely be diying my hair myself so yeah don't forget to like share leave a comment down below also tell a friend subscribe to the channel and yeah, thank you for watching. And yeah, let's let's road to a road to a thousand subscribers.